It's not looking good. It's not looking good. No. Day six, I think. <laughs> well, everybody's day six. Just had a lovely breakfast. Went down really nice today. Really enough to lower stuff for well, the last leg to the furthest eastern point. And that's what's done. It's been a grueling six days. There's big green sex machines had problems, um, but it's all for a good cause. So uh, I'll leave the link below. Uh, we're gonna crack on with our day now and get back on the bikes. Catch you in a bit. Oh wow, we are finally now. We've had a good breakfast. We're now leaving Nuki. Oh look at the weather. Lovely wet day. So the waterproofs are back on. Apart from I ain't got no trousers because the wife's got me trousers because she got to pack hers. So uh, yeah, it's a Oh, arrive in 7 hours 40 minutes that's about any breaks so it's over 400 miles today to get from uh, Newquay to Lowestoft I've got a bit of M25 to negotiate that's always fun isn't it it's always fun but uh, I've got to say I think that this is the last night in the tent I'm even tempted to just book an hotel because my hip is killing me, I'm not complaining. I'm just thinking a bit of luxury would be nice. Campsite, where was that last night? Oh, what a pile of crap that was. The wash blocks were all locked up. Everybody had to brush the teeth in the um, washing up sink that was outside. Everybody wanted the toilet, but couldn't go, so we had to wait till we got to the calf. Right, well, everybody that wanted a number two anyway. So yeah, that was uh, the the pub had a decent uh, decent food menu, but the actual campsite was crap. More like a mini golf course, up down, up down, up down. You were looking to find a flat spot, and uh, to be fair, I'm saying that I did sleep quite well because I was absolutely shattered yesterday. But it's you know on the flip side of that, it's also been enjoyable. <laughs> My body ain't enjoying it. So yeah, the plan today is just munch the miles off, get to lower stuff. Hopefully they've got some blue skies for us in the east. Oh, that'd be nice. And uh, I think I'll end up making a decision of whether I'm going to look for an hotel when I get a bit closer. When I've probably cracked off six hours, I'll. Uh, I think I'd have made my mind up by then. Gotta say though, we have done some amazing roads. We're going all the way around the UK. Doing all the points of the compass. That's something I'm glad that uh, we did just to experience the places that we've been. And to uh, make that a bonus, it's all for charity. And such a worthy charity it is. So yet again, the link is below. If you're uh, able to do so, Please feel free to donate every single penny 
will help these terminally ill and ill children. It's a good job I got your sidekick. Otherwise we'd be proper scuppered now. You can hire him for a day. Just a cup of coffee or a Twix will do. He don't pay you a lot, does he? <laughs> no. Huh? <laughs> Big green sexy machine. First major problem of the whole trip, well, apart from the shock. I told you it'd be the lowest mileage bike that's fucked, wasn't it, <laughs> didn't it? Huh? Yeah. We take the tank bag off. Yeah. I'll do that for you now. It's hard work, innit? You know it's bad when it's got no plastics on. Do this. Uh, you have to take all this lot off to get to the radio camps. It's just a bit like taking all the exhaust off to get the rear wheel out, isn't it? If you get a puncher. Yeah. Oh, At least you can say you've stripped three different colours now. Yeah. <laughs> White, green, and black. Anybody want a burgundy? Probably a burgundy one. He hasn't done one of them yet. How strange that it just started when we got here, though. I mean, that's pure luck, isn't it? Right. So we can now get to that. It's not good. <laughs> Something. <laughs> it's turtle poo, that is. <laughs> That's just turtle poo, don't you worry about that. What is that? It's turtle poo. Is it accessible? Yeah. Everybody feel the taste bottles. <laughs> 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 I, mean, I, do, I do need a weed. Do we need more than 10 litres? Hang on, I'll tell you. You might as well get it just for the fun of it and watch you carry it back. Yeah, but then I've got. <laughs> <laughs> we need 20 jobs. <laughs> no, don't. Oh, this is good, look. I can for, get... Just for about five. And then we can dump I can get that much in it. That is good. Oh, yeah. You've got everything coming here. <laughs> it's not looking good. It's not looking good. No. Well, worst case, you come on the back of mine. Or Hayley comes on the back of mine. And we tow it. How about that? <laughs> How about I, I ride yours, you sit on it and I'll tow you? I'll do it. It would be funny, wouldn't it? What's the matter with you? Only three hundred. What's, what's the matter? Yeah. Oh, you're just grumpy. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> They're trying to fix your bike, They're not stealing parts. <laughs> They're stealing parts. They're stealing parts off it, Dad. We might have to go to Halfords and get some gummy gummy. Some what? Gummy gummy. Or we just go all by chewing gum, put it around the pipe. Gummy tape. gummy. This is going to end catastrophically, isn't it, on the side of the road? No, it's going to make it. You reckon? Yeah, it's pan. It'll make it the lowest stuff, think it'll make it home? Well, once you got there, that, that's the video's done, isn't it? So. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I've, honoured, I've honoured my challenge then, I suppose. You can get a tow then. Or just leave it there. Just drop down and we'll top it back up and put it back together and then we'll... Uh... It's good. Oh, you love me. Go on, we're going for a stroke. You're not convinced about the hair. Come on. There's nothing wrong with that. He went, Dad, there's a goddamn rainbow troll trying to get me. Oh no, mate. I'm not funny. I'm just me, I'm not funny. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Everybody needs a sidekick like yours. It's always good, isn't it? Oh, I tell you. He was pushing me back yesterday and I went, <laughs> bloop, bloop. He went, Do you want to push me? Bloop, bloop. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was while you was falling over, by oh, the way. Yeah. yeah, while you was having a near death experience, your sidekick was helping me. <laughs> he didn't want to see it. He didn't want to see his old turtle on his back, you see, that's what it was. He felt sorry for me. Everybody else ran over and started helping him, didn't they? So yeah, you... including my wife. Yeah. yeah. Everyone, except from my sidekick. Left me there with a wide-eyed turtle I was, thinking, oh, shit, I mean, I've got myself in the right predicament now. The old turtle's going to end up on his back. Put the old green machine's back together. Let's see how long it lasts. Well, the big green sexy machine is back on the motorway. Temperature is uh, sitting where it normally does in the low position. As you see from the clips before, it spat its guts out everywhere. But oh god, that's it. We're not going to complete the 
four points of the UK, the four furthest points, and I was a bit disheartened. But this man in front of me, on his Robin bike, the Batman that's Robin, the helmet Ed's mighty sidekick. What a nice bloke, just a top man, he really is. And uh, I can see why Helmet Ed manages to keep rolling all the time because of the knowledge and the capability with a pair of spanners that this man has. And uh, before you know it, as I'm giving up thinking, oh, where's the number for the RAC? He's whipping the panels off and uh, he's checking this, checking that, and he's topped it up. And, it's no easy feat on these pans to actually top the water up. You've got to strip all the side fairing off for a start, which means all the tank bags, everything, as you see. And uh, with that, even, you know, me asking him, he just jumped in and saved the day. And, you know, this is why we're able to carry on. It's, it's because of people like that. You always need somebody, I think, in, on a journey like this. Um, you always need a man like that that's so capable. I'm great at taking things apart. I'm just not very good at putting them back together. But we endeavour to carry on. We will get the big green sexy turtle machine to lower stuff. Fingers crossed. <laughs> wow, what a day. We're about 40 minutes away now from completing this epic charity ride. I gotta say, oh, I'm done in. <laughs> oh, I really done in. My ass hurts. Backs of my legs feel like they've been cut with a knife. Backs throbbing, hips throbbing. Me and the wife keep moving around. We don't manage to move around. Every, every bit you move on to is bloody sore. But it's been worth it. It really has, even though we had a mixed batch of weather. So we had some really nice days in Scotland and obviously a really wet westerly day. And then uh, we were quite lucky with uh, the weather all the way down to Hereford. It was nice in Hereford. It was pretty much nice down to uh, Land's End. And then uh, we've had a mixed batch today. So it was rainy first thing and it got it was alright around the motorway bit, it's M4, M25. Stopped for a break on the A11 and it was red hot, blue skies. I was sweating so I took the waterproof jacket off. Oh and look, it's back to being rain, but who cares, we're nearly there. I don't even care if I got a set up in the rain. Because it's the last time I've got to set this tent up for a while, that's for sure. We lost Helmet Ed on the M25, not sure where he is. So we've got the sidekick in front. <laughs> I've stolen his sidekick. And uh, we've got Martin, the chap that uh, just seen it on Facebook and thought, Do you know what, I'll have a go at that. And he's done bloody well. So he's behind us. Joe and Dazza, the hero, they've uh, they, they left just after us, but they're probably there before us. Um, not sure about Reggie, Reggie boy, I bet he's toodled all the way there and he's there. He's just a machine, he is, 74 year old on his Himalayan. And you'd, uh, you'd see him disappear in your mirrors and then at the end of the day he'd be where, where you'd end up, you know, he's just toodled at his own pace. And, He'd always be there. He's hoteled it, bless him, because of his age. I've got to say, I wish I'd done the same. Six days in the tent has about killed me. Um, so yeah, it's been uh, it's been lots of highs, a couple of lows. Obviously, the big green sexy turtle machine spat all the fluids out today, and I thought, oh, that's it, we're done. Well, my head. Bless him, he's still alive. Which is always a good thing. Bless him. Only just found him mine about two minutes ago. 
following the sidekick up to the beach now for the furthest, furthest eastern point. Whoop, whoop. There's Joe. Joe's here. Oh God, I uh <laughs> Budsy, are you all right, kid? You've been asleep. I'm glad you're alive. We thought you might be dead. You didn't take anybody's wing mirror off of my cup, did you? Hey, I almost come off, but no <laughs> wing mirror. <laughs> Well, it's pissing it down with rain, but we made it all the way to the most easterly point.